Hello fellow coffee bobberers, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating what I said in the recent sub £500 espresso machine video that will pop up here at the end of this video about spending most of your budget on the grinder. I mentioned in that video that most of us will be inclined to buy an espresso machine and then buy the grinder as an afterthought and I explained that this isn't really the wise approach. I remember speaking to a commercial espresso machine engineer a couple of years ago who said something that really made this much more clear to me. I was talking to him about which commercial machines produce the best espresso. He looked at me with a slightly strange expression, like I was a moron, which is fine because I am, and said, Kev, espresso machines just heat the water. The espresso quality is down to the grinder and the coffee. I know he was slightly understating the importance of the espresso machine there, although he was referring to commercial machines, and they do tend to differ less in capability than home machines, but that really made me rethink the importance of the grinder versus the espresso machine with home setups. This idea that the quality of the espresso machine is more or less irrelevant compared to the quality of the grinder, I think is absolutely true. And I think most people watching this video will take absolutely no notice as I wouldn't have done it myself because it's so much more exciting to spend money on an espresso machine than a grinder. But I'll show you why this is true and then I'll demonstrate. This is from Kruv Sifting done here by my daughter with assistance, which means I sat there and drank coffee while she did the work. Why else would we have kids? My daughter is an adult, by the way, in case you thought I'd entrusted this important testing to a toddler. I know I don't look old enough, but believe it or not, my daughter is 21 and my son is 22. We actually use a filter on my face. Ollie, just turn it off for a sec so people can see how old I actually look. Oh, me knees. Oh, me back. So these charts show that, generally speaking, the more premium the grinder, the more concentrated the particle distribution. The more premium you go, the more subtle improvements you'll usually get in other areas that may make slight differences, but buying a grinder that performs better where particle distribution is concerned is a way to achieve the most obvious improvements in shot quality. A good example of this is a Krups Expert versus a Smart Grinder Pro. If you put the charts on the screen, it's easy to see how the Smart Grinder Pro would provide a noticeable difference in the cup, given the much more concentrated distribution of particle size. This comparison would work with the other similar grinders, including the Melita Molino and the DeLonghi KG79, which use almost identical burrs. Small, flat, blunt grinding wheels crush coffee beans rather than sharp burrs that chew them into more uniform chunks. So when you have a bigger range of micron sizes like this versus a much more precise concentrated range of micron sizes like this, it leads to being able to dial in better and it leads to more balanced extraction for better taste in espresso. I'm going to put that to the test now quite dramatically by making espresso with the Sage dual boiler paired with the DeLonghi KG79 versus the DeLonghi Dedica paired with the Niche Zero. Let me quickly make an espresso with both after dialing them in and then let's taste. <laughs> what does it taste like? Ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that mouldy twiglets. That seems like an unfair test, so let's do the same again, and this time pair the dual boiler with the Gadget MD15.
Listen, well, well now they're a perfect. Well, there isn't a massive difference between them. Both pretty acceptable. So clearly the temperature precision and stability of the Sage dual boiler is going to lead to much better results when paired with a capable grinder and see the description for some espresso machine and pairing suggestions. But I just wanted to do this video to demonstrate the importance of the grinder. You can make really decent espresso with a very cheap espresso machine paired with a capable grinder. So hopefully this demo will just encourage you to give more importance to the grinder when it comes to assigning your budget. A lot of people will spend most of the budget on the machine and then spend what's left on the grinder and really you'd be better doing the opposite. If you can start out with a much more capable espresso grinder that will produce fairly decent espresso with something like the DeLonghi Stellosa, Dedica or Gaggia Espresso, and then just keep the grinder and look at upgrading the machine in the future, to me, this is a better way to go for less disappointment and frustration and better taste in espresso as early as possible into your home barista quest. But let's face it, you're probably going to go away and blow 95% of your budget on the espresso machine and then hit your coffee beans with a stone. And I did exactly the same, so who am I to talk? Coffee Kev's comment of the week. Cousinette Sovby says, Do you really need to follow this clickbait trend with open mouth thumbnails? I can't believe a commenter said this! Thank you very much for watching, and if you think coffee is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious and you enjoyed this video, we've got tons of content about how to make better coffee at home to take you from beginner to home barista. We've got reviews and how-tos on the most popular machines. If you like the sound of that, click on my face to subscribe. Tatty bye!